Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this video, oh, the other day I told you I dropped and uh, broken my calipers, you know, hand loading. Uh, today, yesterday I went out, I got a, a new pair of calipers. So I was, today I was going to continue that video and edit out some stuff. But uh, I got to looking and before I broke them, I'd actually made a fairly decent video. So I'm going to go ahead and splice in the beginning of that video and then uh, show you where I, where I broke my calipers and uh, then, you know, pick up from there. But uh, I just, I'd have hated to waste this footage. So here you go. This ain't no perfect video. Bear with me. This was just a... Uh, a short instructional video I'm getting ready to I want to fire this rifle I want to try it at a hundred yards I've tried it at 70 I've got a load that uh, I really like see nothing in it so I was doing a little case trim and I got thinking I might as well you know share that because they, they, I know at least one man that uh, he likes the, the hand loading videos he you know, he's learning, but uh, thanks for watching, and uh, God bless you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing today, I'm just going to give you a little lesson on case trimming. You know, we're, we've got the um, loading for the 8 millimeter Mauser. Now, you see right here in the book where it says the maximum case length is 2 inches and 240 thousandths, Okay. It says the trim to length is 2,230 thousandths. Well, that's what we have. Well, it's actually a half a thousandths over right here on my caliper. But I like this case, and I have loaded up, you know, I have resized, you know, a little batch of these. I'm planning to do some shooting with my 8 millimeter Mauser. So I'm going to show you how you'd set up your trimmer. Go ahead and, and this one-handed as a there we go go ahead and uh well, i had that backwards there we go see that just cams over holds it now on this trimmer this is a lyman trimmer you notice these are are pilots i went ahead and i've installed my eight millimeter pilot so that see how that that fit you know it's a good snug fit Got a little retaining set screw right there that holds it in place. But if this is the uh, case, case length that I'm going for, what you got to do, oh, and there's my 8 millimeter Mauser. Now, don't worry, it's been safety checked. But uh, you take this, uh, loosen these two set screws off right here so this can move. I'm trying to hold as steady as I can. Loosen these off. Run, chuck, run that up in the bullet, good and up in the case, real good and uh, snug. Okay, then you'd push this collar, push it into place. Okay, then you'd take the uh, Allen wrench and just snug them. Now you don't have to do like a a triple bite on it or anything like you would with a, uh, if you were locking down a bearing on a shaft or something like that and you had a set screw, this is just to keep it from moving. Now, that, that trimmer set to that cartridge length. Now, I'm going to take another case and I'm going to trim it down and see what, see what we have. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let me pause you. Alright, just because I need to use my hands, I went ahead and I put the new case in there. Measured this one, it's 2,236 thousandths of an inch. So this case is longer than our trim two length. See our trim two length of 2,230? Okay, we just set the, uh, the trimmer up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this case. Put this in here. Lock it. All right, and you'll hear the difference once it's once it's trimmed. All right, 
Now, let's see. This case is trimmed to length. So, I'll just... Well, let me pause you again so we can see what we got. Okay, so I went ahead. I had to pause you for a second to do this because I needed both hands. But now we're trimmed. This new case is trimmed to uh, 2,230 and a half thousand just like the uh, previous one which usually it's not that exact all right so i just dropped my the uh, little primer pocket cleaner hold on but that's how you do it the next step which you've already seen me do before is to chamfer and deburr and uh, you chamfer and deburr it then it's ready to prime it and then add a uh, you know powder charge but i just want to show the uh, basics of uh, trimming a case all right that went pretty well now i'm gonna splice in where i dropped my calipers this this is more for entertainment all right that went pretty well now i'm gonna splice in where i dropped my calipers this this is more for entertainment then push that to where it bottoms out and then you tighten them with these. You don't have to get super tight. And you don't have to do a triple set like you're uh, locking down a collar on a pillar block bearing or anything like that. And I just dropped my calipers. Unfortunately, I had to cut this one short. I have broken my calipers. They, uh, they fell to the floor. And now I'm not getting the same readings as I was before. So... Unfortunately, I got to shut this one down for now and go get me a new set. I mentioned earlier, you know, I bought a new, you know, caliper yesterday. I just, this little old set I bought at O'Reilly Auto Parts on my way home from work. But uh, here's a, a trim case with the new calipers. I have... Two inches, 230 thousandths and a half. Exactly what I had where I set my trimmer. Now I'm going to show you the pair that I dropped. You don't want to drop calipers. Here's the pair that I dropped. I've had them for a long time. You've seen them in a lot of videos. Just a little pair I bought at Cabela's. But uh, I'm, going to I'm going to measure that same case. Okay, I'm going to make it fair. I'm on zero. See, I'm zero. I'm on inches. All right. These calipers are measuring two, two inches, 219 thousandths, or 219 and a half. That's exactly what they did when I shut down the video. So something internally was damaged on these when I dropped them, which there is not a huge difference you know as far as but when you're dealing in thousandths of an inch you know that's a huge difference i mean if you're measuring with a tape measure no big deal that uh don't let measuring in thousandths uh intimidate you it's just like measuring in sixteenths like if you're measuring in sixteenths there's sixteen sixteenths in an inch ask ask a ask a millennial how many sixteenths are in an inch and see what kind of answer you get no, just kidding. I know some of you guys are millennials. I love you. But uh, thousands are the same way. When you're measuring in thousands, just keep in mind that there's one thousand thousandths in an inch. So if you want a half an inch, you got 500 thousandths. You want three quarters of an inch, you got 750 thousandths. You know, quarter of an inch, 250 thousandths, and et cetera, and so on. But uh, I just thought I'd put that in there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I want you to know I, I appreciate every one of you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.